What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode of WWE Supercar here on the channel. If you guys enjoyed this content, like, comment, and subscribe. As always, leave a comment down below. Love hearing from you guys, as always. And uh, hit that notification bell. You know, go, go live for live streams and upload brand new videos. So today's video, we got a couple things here and there. And I uh, just want to discuss some things as well. You know, I guess Supercar related and whatnot because... I look so burned out from Supercar, and I'm not going to lie, I kind of am burned out. A lot of us are like, literally burned out. I guess a lot of the updates and stuff have burned a lot of us out, because we're not enjoying the game like we used to, and it's just extremely stressful. And for people who are enjoying the games, I'm, I'm only assuming the people who are really enjoying the game right now are people who are like getting like WrestleMania's out of gold balls every damn day, so... Besides those people, I don't see many people right now and clearly enjoying the game. But uh, we'll, we'll get into that. Uh, first, I'm going to get into uh, a couple packs here and there. Uh, I do got a gold pack to claim. I think I got two. And then I'm going to show you guys my Hall of Fame pack that I got. I know it's like maybe four days late, but you know. I, did, I was streaming most of the weekend anyway, so that's why I save it for Mondays. So here's those gold packs, and here's the Hall of Fame pack. Enjoy. Gold Vault. Uh, we're hoping for a female. Probably going to get a Shatter again. Unfortunately. Can we get the Enhancement first? And hey, we get Ricochet. Honestly, not bad. I need a female, though. But I'll take Ricochet. I love Ricochet. He is the MVP. I don't know what it is. I feel like Enhancement should just be WrestleMania. I've never seen anyone get a Shattered Enhancement in so damn long. It is really insane. I want to get a freaking Ruby, right, pro? Oh, double WrestleMania 35. What a shocker. <laughs> it's Luke Gallows. <laughs> oh, my God. Kenny had the perfect timing. Oh, Kenny, you suck. <laughs> All right. So let's actually go ahead and do this now. So we're going to claim this enhancement pack. Who cares? Neon. All right. We got 25 credits. Thank you so much. Lovely. Back up to 15K, even though it's about to change soon. Support. WrestleMania, please. Kappa. All right. Gothic table. You suck. Draft picks. I love draft picks. Draft picks are lovely. And what do we get in our Hall of Fame pack? Booyah. It's always the worst. I always get the worst ones. And it's the Godfather. Okay. Thank you so much. Why do I always get the worst? And people have been getting two, three, four of these as their cards. Well, that's pretty freaking awesome. All right, guys. So I um, hope you all enjoyed that. Uh, I do want to give everyone a big happy Memorial Day for all you guys. Unfortunately, I got to work on Memorial Day. So sucks for me. But, you know, hey, you, you get through it. You know, <laughs> I'll take the extra bonus plus the hours I work. Uh, it would have been nice to have a day off, though, on a Monday. See how Raw retaliates to AEW. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to watch Raw. But let's see how they retaliate with AEW. If you guys want my opinion on AEW, it was actually an amazing show. I give it like an 8.5 out of 10. Really steps up and, you know, put in WWE on notice. So that's good. So uh, I got no Team Battleground rewards. My team is currently, like, not really interested in T TBG. Especially the way the charges are dropping. Unless it's like a Road to Glory, you're not going to... The charges are horrendous right now. That's one of the broken game things, but hey, I'll get into that more when we get into that. So, uh, I guess I'll open up another Gold Vault Pack. Uh, I still have another day and seven hours for my Fusion. I know a lot of people are just maybe completing their Fusion now, but I was late, so... Uh, can we get a female out of this? Can we? Because uh, LMS is coming up, and OTL is coming up, and... Uh, it's a Kurt Angle Pro, but, you know, like, I, I I really need females. I appreciate the pros, man, but I, females is what I want. Females are have been, like, they ignore me all the time. It's sad, but true. Just look at all these pros. It's just insane. You got one, two, three, four, five, six. I got, like, seven cards here that need to be proed. God help me. Mm-mm-mm. So, I did finish the Road to Glory yesterday. You all saw me get Goldberg. Thank you all for came out. Sorry about the technical difficulties with my microphone. It was just having issues for some reason. I did change my slot for, this, for my USB. So, hopefully, it fixes a lot of the static problems that I did have. Don't know why I was doing it like crazy yesterday. But, you know, it's crazy why 
uh, that's the re another reason why I didn't upload it on YouTube because it was really static problems. A lot of people didn't like it. I saw the negative from it, so it's like uh, I'd rather not. And then we got Team Ring Domination, and it's R Truth, which is a single for me, but it's like it's R Truth. You're giving out Kurt Angles and Triple H's, and then you give us an R Truth. It's a downer. It's a downer. It's 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 crap. Now my buddy did not was not able to give me all of the information of the undercards. Unfortunately, uh, I'm gonna hopefully double check right now if there is a brand new update if someone has the undercards or not. But I'll be so I'll be right back. So now there's a part of the video where I like to talk about the state of SuperCard, the way everything is. First, let me just go ahead and tell you the state. Uh, SuperCard right now currently is in a bad state. Uh, in my opinion, we don't get any communication whatsoever from Supercar besides the once a week uh, Wednesday. We're putting the extended maintenance to ho hopefully fix things, but guarantee not all of it will be fixed. Uh, this is the same same thing happening since the whole big update thing. That's kind of killed the game for so many people. It's been a mess. All right, it's been a fucking mess, and it's it's sad. It really is sad. But the communication is key. If there were just more communica communicative, this wouldn't be a big issue right now for a lot of people. But the fact is they're so f lacking communication, it's just, boy, it's it's sad. Uh, a lot of people love the road to glory with the bots and, and ring dom. If you guys want my honest opinion, I fucking hated it. I hated it with a passion. I watched JB's video and he hated it. Now, I'm looking at people why they love it so much. I... Nine out of ten people will tell you they love the new Road to Glory because it was easier. Because it was bots. Now, hear me out first. Road to Glory should not be as hard as it is with our decks. You know, Supercard just made it hard for everyone. You know, especially for free players. They made it extremely hard. All right. We shouldn't be fighting decks. When we when we fought our decks, like you versus your friend's decks and every other decks, why were we fighting Shatter++ plus plus decks at the end of a Neon card? That's pretty much three tiers ahead of what you should be are. Should be not fighting. Something doesn't make sense about that. And it was ridiculous. It's stupid. If they just made Road to Glory easier with deck-related numbers that made sense, people would not be complaining about Road to Glory, and they wouldn't be like, "Oh my God, you know, bots are bots are the reason we should we should make it a thing because you know bots make the game easier." Well, what is the whole point of playing SuperCard if I can't face your decks? You know, I need to face people's decks. I want to see people what they grinded for and what they earned. You know. That's what I like about Supercard. People that fight my decks, they when they beat me, they f beat the shit out of me at times. I'm not going to lie. This year, I've seen people beat the shit out of me. They enjoy it. Like, yeah, I beat Ed. I beat Ed. You know? And then what I'm thinking is, I hope I find you in Rose of Glory so I can beat your ass too. And then post it to you. Say, hey, I just whooped your ass too. I blame the bot for playing for me. Kappa. But yeah, that is the whole point of Supercard. If Supercard just makes bots thing, go play my NBA. That's how boring it is. Like, I want to play decks. But the thing is, my NBA has other modes besides one. They got like four or five different events. King of the King of the Court. They have Rivals Clash, which is pre pretty much PCC. You know, you're fighting people's decks. So at the end of the day, it still matters. But we don't have that in Supercard, okay? We got Wild Mode. Fuck Wild Mode, all right? Wild Mode sucks ass, all right? <laughs> PvP sucks ass. And you only play against PvP whatever your, your points are. Most of the time, you'll probably get a bot. All right, but Road to Glory is a is a is a strength of Dex. So I was not happy with the bot Road to Glory. I thought it sucked. It was one of the worst events ever. I was not impressed whatsoever. But if you guys liked it, then I think they just need to make the game easier <laughs> with other people's decks. They shouldn't be making them harder. And um, I agree with JB when I watch this video 100%. Like, why do we not have the people who play your game sit in a call, in a Discord, something, and discuss how we can make Supercard better? Free players, paid players. Just make the overall game more fun. 
Listen to our ideas. I gave JB some great ideas, you know, how to get, you know, like different ways to get momentum slots, you know, other ways of getting cards. There's so many ideas that we all have. And unfortunately, we, we're pretty much like, the, we, I guess you could say we're like the WWE creative team. We can't get through to the Vince McMahon of Cat Daddy. That's what we need to do. We need to sit down and have a talk. Uh, but unfortunately, the way that things work in, in pretty much the gaming industry, instead of talking to the people who, who play the game every damn day, like I advertise them every damn day. Like it's not like I'm a noob channel. I got like a, I get a hundred thousand plus views a month right now playing Supercard. I think that's quite a lot for a mobile game. I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm doing very well right now. You know, I had a minor setback with my sub count, but you know, thankfully I'm not going crazy over that. You know, I thought about going crazy over it. I said screw it. Stupid mistake on my part for that. But. You know, I, I, I sound like I'm a noob. You know, I do get views on this. And I'm people recognize me. I got 9,000 followers on Twitter. People don't usually get that 9,000. There's people with 100,000 subscribers who don't even have 9,000 followers on Twitter. That, who represents a damn community. And I represent so much. So it's crazy how I get the shit end of the stick. But when it comes to this, no disrespect to all ma those amazing content creators... Tony Pizza Guy, respect. Uh, Dank Ops, uh, Macho, Brennan, uh, Tubby, Pulse. You know, respect to those guys. You know, they're great content creators, in my opinion. But are they super card content creators? Absolutely not. They don't play the game every day. They don't play the big events like we do every day. They just honestly don't care. The only time you see them is when it's going to help their channels. Give them a little boost. And I, I can understand that. We all can, we all love boost. But you're shitting on the players who are there for you. People like JB is there for you. Luge, she's not as active as she once was. But, you know, she just had a baby and stuff. And she still posts her super card videos at least once a week on Wednesdays. Shout out to Luge. Hope the baby's good. Biggie Dude posts every day. I post every day, but I get shitted on. I, I haven't talked to Cat Daddy in five years. I can't wait to, for them to finally hit me up in the email saying eight years later. We saw we ignored you for eight years. But you know your, your content. Your sub count wasn't good to us. Who knows what it is that they hate about me. It's probably because my audience is. I, I love my audience. I, I think my audience is maybe non-PG. But that's my audience. You got to understand. There's PG audience. There's PG-13 audience. And then there's. My. Sure, big audience, and I'm in that mature level of audience. And yeah, we fool around, joke around, but I still have my own audience. Seventeen thousand of my audience. Shout out to the three-year-old who loves me, and I curse like hell. But shout out to her, Kieran's. Uh, I guess Kieran's daughter. Uh, you know, it's crazy, but we need to give the content creators who deserve it. Even not even YouTubers. Listen to the big guys of your freaking game. Talk to them as well, you know. But yeah, it, it's just a mess the way the game is, you know. And it's unfortunate the way the game is. And uh, I'm rather I'm rather playing Fortnite right now than playing Supercard. The sad truth, you know. <laughs> and I, I really don't want to upload Fortnite videos to YouTube because then I lose my audience if I do that. And I'm relying on Supercard, and Supercard's just not delivering right now. So. It's a mess. Hopefully one day Supercard can literally talk to the community, have better communication, talk to people who play their freaking game every single day, not looking for exclusive QR codes, all that other shit. Think about the community and the people who play your game at the end of the day. Those are the people who are going to keep your game alive and who are gonna, those are the people that they're going to watch at the end of the day for the whole season. Remember that. That's the end of this rant. I'm out. Goodbye.